Let's get into this NFL Week 12, shall we? Let's do it. We're going to start last Thursday. Uh, Dallas beat the Giants. That was a pretty lackluster game until the second half for Dallas. I don't know if it was because of the Jerry Jones situation. I don't know if they got a little fat after beating Minnesota. But they kind of took the Giants lightly. But the Giants been depleted, and they got Daniel Jones at quarterback. So you better win that game. So Dallas ended up winning the game. But it was kind of lackluster, you know. But the Giants are a fool's goal. Dallas should win that game, and they did win. Um, Minnesota beat New England probably was the best game of the three. Kirk Cousins rebounded after that spanking by Dallas. Bill Belichick. Mac Jones played out of his mind, but their defense made some very suspect plays in that game. Don't look like a playoff team, and they haven't looked right since Brady gone. They've been in their own pandemic the last two and a half years post-Brady. Not a good team. Some spots here, but not that good. Buffalo beat Detroit. Buffalo been on a little, but they had to play the same game in Detroit because of the snowstorm, but they didn't take Detroit. Detroit kind of lightly on offense. Detroit still got some offense. Their defense is suspect, but um, Josh Allen, you got to run Dar- Daniel uh, Singletary more and play more fundamental ball, and don't keep bringing these games close because every game ain't meant to be close. They should have beat Detroit by 10. They got that game. Um, Miami beat Houston. Well, Houston is pretty much a doormat this year. Tua looked pretty good. The Dolphins have been one of the surprise teams this year, playing with consistency. Elsewhere, Cincinnati beat Tennessee. It was a pretty tight game. Burroughs is starting to hit his stride. They look pretty good. Uh, they could be a dangerous team come playoff time. San Francisco shut out New Orleans. I don't know, Andy Dalton. I don't know what's going on with Jamison, why he's in the doghouse. Alvin Kamara fumbled a couple times. New Orleans just has not looked right at all. They have not looked right at all. Kansas City spanked the Rams, but who doesn't spank the Rams? Patrick Mahomes continue his great play. Kansas City remains a team you got to chase in the AFC. The Rams, Super Bowl, they went from the penthouse to the outhouse. Pretty embarrassing. And the like Matthew Stafford's a one-year wonder. I just don't see it. I don't know why you get that bad. Carolina beat Denver in a who cares game. Sam Donald won. He got the job over Baker Mayfield. That's pretty bad. And Russell Wilson if your last name is Wilson, you might want to get used to a clipboard. But between Russell Wilson and Zach Wilson with the Jets, you're not getting the job back or you're not getting the job done. Denver is underachieving on offense. Look good on defense, but it's one side. And speaking of the Jets, they spanked the Bears. I like I like Fields for Chicago, but the Bears don't make enough plays. He got hurt. I think Simeon came in. I ain't seen that turkey in about four or five years, and it showed the Jets tore their behind up. And – um. White came in in quarterback, did a good job. Um, Washington beat Atlanta. That's a dangerous team. Keep your eye on Washington. And that rookie running back who got shot came back. He looking good. If they, Heineke, can keep the 17 to 20 points in games, they don't play a lot of explosive teams. Washington could be a problem. I said this to you a couple weeks ago. Keep an eye. Ron Reed will mess this up. They might have a team you don't want to have to face. They're looking pretty good. Cleveland beat Tampa Bay. Can't win chippy games, not finishing up chippy spots. Tom Brady's missing grunk. They're missing discipline. They're missing leadership. They're missing being able to finish. It shows. They just don't have that attitude. They they got the rain. They got fat, and they got comfortable. Brady looks old in some spots, but in a lot of ways, he just does not have anybody out there he can count on. They can't run, and their defense is giving up too many big plays. Brissett went off against them, did enough to win. Nick Chubb finished it off in overtime. You can't lose games like this to teams you should beat. You just can't. Jacksonville beat Baltimore, another classic example. Lamar Jackson played like great, but their defense is horrible. Trevor Lawrence got some confidence. They got to be able to finish. Harbo is not finishing up games. That's what's costing them from being a team you don't want to have to deal with. But if they don't play no defense, ain't nobody scared of Baltimore, despite Lamar Jackson balling. Uh, the Chargers beat Arizona, but who doesn't beat Arizona? Uh, Her- Her- uh, Herbert came up late in the game, uh, just made one play, got over. Tonight, Indy beat uh, Pittsburgh beat Indy. Who cares? There was a time this was a marquee matchup when Peyton Manning and, and, and uh, Ben Roethlisberger play. Neither one of them in the building. The Pinkett kid looked good, good for Pittsburgh. Matt Ryan looked old. Jonathan Taylor, I got respect for, but... Come on now. This was a lackluster game to be on Monday Night Football. Jeff Saturday may have been over his head or crazy to give up his Blazer gig for that gig because the Colts just don't have the it. And they're going to be needing a quarterback, and they need to get some pieces in places. 
they're not close to where they were when he played, not even the half. Probably the game of the weekend saw the Las Vegas Raiders beat Seattle in overtime. Now, two overrated jive turkey teams. Somebody had to win. And that Jacobs hit that run at the end. I was like, wow. You know, Seattle's defense has been lackluster. And Geno Smith, he playing pretty good, but it's still out of body. Pete Christmas Carroll can't flip the switch with this. They're 500, but they're nowhere near a team with it's a difference of a decade. This team used to run at home, and they were a threat. No one is worried about Seattle, but the Raiders have been underachieving. Carr finally getting a couple wins in overtime. Still might not save Josh McDaniel because – the Raiders are just kind of lackluster, too. So somebody had to win. But it turned out to be probably the most entertaining game of the weekend. This one in Minnesota, New England. So that was week 12. How did your team do? Let me know. Please hit the like and the comments, and I will respond. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. Appreciate it if you want to. And uh, week 12, some teams are starting to come into shape. You're starting to see some things. And right, I'm out.